Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install BetLab on your computer and then make it functional. So, first thing to do is log into your cPanel. When you log into your cPanel, you go to your file manager. Go to your file manager, click on your public HTML, then you can upload the file here by clicking upload. But for this lesson, I created a folder. So I created a folder known as BET, and inside this folder, we're going to upload all our files. So here, here is the folder. So you click on upload. When you click on upload, you locate the file from your computer. You go to wherever your file is, let's say your download or anywhere. Let's say it's this, you click on it and then the upload begins. So when the upload is done, when we're done with the upload, automatically it will appear here. So now, since this is, I've already done the upload there, but for this lesson, I'm not going to repeat the upload because we already have the server running. So once the upload is done, you, you click on it and then click extract from your CPAN. It depends on the hosting company that you're making use of. Then click on start to choose a directory and then click on extract files. Automatically, your files will be uploaded. Then, for us to run this program, let's run it on another tab. We are running it on our company website, tabseratech.com.ng slash bed and then install. So, when you do this, you click on this and then type in splash install. This folder appears. You click on agree. Make sure your computer meets all the requirements. Make sure every requirement is being checked. You click on the next step. And then make sure all these folders is rewritable. You have the core, bootstrap, cache, core storage, core storage app, core storage framework, core storage logs, and database and then .hc access for the redirection. So make sure that the permissions is at 0775. How do we change the permission? To change the permission, Let's say I want to change the permission of this folder. I click on here on the folder, then go to permission, click on permission. Then if I want to make the permission to be 775, I'll click here, automatically change it to 775. So that's how you can grant permission to all your folder. Then after that, you click on next. Click on the next step. Then when you click on the next step, we are going to arrive at where you are going to fill in your database details. So at this junction, we fill in our database details. Okay. So here, we go back to our tools. To create your database, you click on MySQL databases. When it loads, enter the name of your database. Let's start making use of all. So test bed, we click on create, then we'll go back. When you create a database, the next thing to do is to create a user for that database. Then we'll come here, we create a user, it's a test bet user, test bet user. Then you can make it of your password generator and generate a password for the database. And then click on create user after creating a user we now assign the database to the user how do we do that you scroll down you see add user to database click on the test user and then your database test bet and then click on add automatically when you click on it you grant all privileges here and then scroll down and click on make changes automatically you are done then come back here and then paste your database details, database name, our uh, password. The database host should be localhost. The DB user can go back here to get our database user. Go back here and get our database. Use the database user. Okay, we copy the database user, come back to this and paste it, then go and get the database name. You can get your database name. Remember, we're making use of the one assigned to this. Take your database name, paste it here. Then here you put your 
code canon purchase code and the rest of them fill in your details then username fill in your personal username and your email address when we are done filling all these things you click on install when you click on install automatically the code will be the reason why we get this error because we have already installed it so once you click on install everything starts working fine so this is how you can install it thank you